Hi, folks. It's the weekend. I'm Matt Noyes with One Degree Outside Weather Network. You know, we break these videos into chunks because that way you can kind of pick and choose what you want. So you had Noyce's notes earlier, which focuses on the next 24 hours. This time around, it's One Degree Outside Insights getting you through the next few days. I'm going to take you through the weekend and into the start of next week, for that matter, as well. So here's the map on Saturday. It is a dry day across all of New England. You do find a number of clouds, but there'll be breaks of sun between those clouds. It's not a bad day. But it's a cool day, though. Temperatures running in the 50s for many of us breaking 60 through the interior and closing in on 70 in parts of western New England. Again, the good news staying dry. That's not the case on Sunday. Sunday, the clouds are in in the morning. The showers come in in the midday, the afternoon, the evening. They'll be with us in the whole second half of the day. And notice what the clouds do to your temperatures, keeping things into the 50s, even in upstate New York where the showers come in first, not likely to make it past 60 in most spots. As for the more specific timing on the Sunday showers, well, the map at 8 a.m. shows you nothing is into New England yet. By 11 a.m., showers are coming into the Berkshires, western portions of Connecticut. And by the time we get to 2 p.m., many of us are getting into these showers. They expand east. They'll come in last the farther east that you are. So if you're at the eastern Mass coastline or up through Maine, it may actually take all the way till middle afternoon. But obviously, by the time we get to 5 p.m., the late day, the early evening, the rain is coming down across the area. You're talking about a quarter to a half an inch of rain, most of the higher half inch amounts being found in western New England. Many of us either side of a quarter inch. And by Monday morning at 8 a.m., a lot of that rain is gone. There may just be a pop up shower over the course of the day Monday, but the temperature will start to rebound. Uh, take a look. Monday's temperature, 70 degrees in Boston. We think we go into the 70s through a lot of New England again. You see some green on here. There may be a pop up shower Monday. I don't think that's the big feature. Most of that steadier rain that comes in later Sunday is gone by the time we get to Monday. The warmth continues to build on Tuesday. Look at this 80 degrees, our forecast in Concord, New Hampshire, Albany up to 80 as well. Boston may make it 75 to 80 degrees, 82 degrees in Hartford and running warm through upstate New York as well. We do think that for Boston area, this is going to be the maximum of the warmth next week, which is Monday, Tuesday. We've been talking a lot about in the monthly forecast, and since then, in Noyce's notes, these backdoor cold fronts that may sneak in once it come in from the northeast. We think we get another one as we get toward midweek next week. So here's the map next Wednesday. Notice the temperature really dropping, not just in Maine, but through eastern Massachusetts as well. The warmth kind of thrusts back to the west, where upstate New York may be into the middle 80s next Wednesday with some showers and thunderstorms that may develop there. All right, that's what things look for now hope you have a great weekend of course you can always check for an update we'll be back with you a sunday night and monday morning right here on one degree outside.com